Hi guys, welcome to Comfort Life channel. It's Irina and I am very happy to see you here today. In this video, we're talking about my favorite thing and that would be a bath, but actually a salt bath. I always recommend it in my videos and I'm a huge fan of salt, but natural salt, of course. And if you, you know, watch my videos, you already know that I'm a huge fan and I use it in so many different things, you know, for skincare especially. And even for digestive, um, problems, um, just watch the video, I will put the links in the description bar down below. And today I want to talk to you why you do need to take a um, salt bath. Well, maybe you're not a bath person, I would agree, but sometimes it has tremendous health benefits. It could really help you to relieve anxiety and could be amazing for the health of your skin. So the first reason, probably I should start with, is that the salt has important minerals for our bodies and they are bioavailable. Those micro and trace minerals found in salt are giving us health benefits just while we're taking a bath. So magnesium and potassium, of course, are one of the most important ones. Let's say if you're using Epsom salts, those minerals can be drawn into your bloodstream during the bath. Actually, it helps to eliminate the toxins and balance your entire body. My favorite way of taking um, the bath, of course, is to add some essential oils because I think that aromatherapy is also very important and provides additional tons of great benefits. You could uplift yourself, you could unwind yourself, relax yourself, fix the tense muscles or, you know, do so many things with essential oils. I think if you just incorporate the five basic ones like eucalyptus, if you're, you know, if you're suffering from any cold or congestion, it can help you. Leaven is a relaxing oil, tea tree oil is antibacterial, cedarwood is a wonderful oil also for relaxing, it's a muscle relaxant and it smells amazingly. Also you could just get a lemon essential oil, talking about five basic ones just for cleaning and it also has a very good antibacterial, antiseptic properties. Two types of uh, salt I would recommend you to use would be the heavy bag here of the Epsom salts, you know, magnesium sulfate, uh, multi-purpose, right? I'm not really recommending specifically this type of brand, no. And a little more expensive and fancy thing to use would be the magnesium flakes. Well, it's more expensive and you could use it only for special occasions or just to make your own magnesium oil. I have a recipe on my channel, by the way. So I think this is so good and it would definitely give you great health benefits. Because let's say if you use Epsom salts, just get a big bag like that. You would need um, about one to two cups. And now guys, just to persuade you even more, listen to this great health benefits the salt bath can give you. While it boosts your immunity, those minerals, they kind of boost our resilience to the disease or illness. When you're taking a hot bath, it sometimes could be so similar to the physical exercise when it kind of shakes your whole body and uh, improves its response to the disease and also uh, helps it to fight the inflammation in our bodies. The baths are so good because they could at the same time increase your energy and be relaxing. So what, the way it increases the energy is because of the magnesium and when we're deficient and so many people are, it actually leads to the fatigue and um, really the bad um, sleep so we don't sleep well, right? So by taking the soul bath, you could sort of restore the energy in your cell and like revitalize yourself. So the next thing is if you have tense muscles and I have some problems in my back, and if I don't exercise on a regular basis, I really have very sore muscles in my back. I have some numbness in there, which I work on very hot right now. So the warm bath, uh, maybe with some even ginger essential oil, when I apply it on that spot directly, it helps me so very much. It sort of relieves all the tension. If you have muscle tension, in your neck, you know, if you have computer work, or even if you are a mother and you like breastfeeding your baby and pretty much this is your position for the day. So all these kind of things um, really help you to restore the muscles and you have again a very good sleep afterwards. And now talking about the sleep, if you use some relaxing oils, here you go. The bath would increase their um, like sort of properties because the warmth makes your oils work even better. So a very simple tip if you're into oils, uh, you could apply the oil, let's say, on the place where you have some muscle tension and put a heating pad on that place or just use a bath again. You could just apply the oil directly diluted in the carrier oil on that spot and take a bath. It would be, it would work wonders. So once you are taking a bath, right? So what happens? The temperature in your body changes, right? So when you get out of the bath, kind of experience this change from warm to cold. And that actually helps to improve your sleep. I was talking about salt and skin health. So first of all, I am a true believer that the salt baths are very, they have like antibacterial properties. So if you're suffering from body acne or even eczema, 
it would be really so good for you. Because it's so simple, these minerals, they actually promote that healthy, um, great looking, young, glowing skin. It really helps to get rid of you know those impurities and the toxins from our skin, but also it balances its moisture levels. Allergies and infections, like they actually work when uh, you have a mucus buildup and the salt bath can help you to eliminate it. It can also even help to prevent it. And just in the end, in my opinion, the baths, they are just feel so good. It's like spa in your home. It doesn't take a lot of time. By the way, don't try to take very, very hot baths. And um, sometimes if you cannot really tolerate it, you probably need to make sure your chest area is above water so you don't really heat up your heart. And don't really, you don't have to be there for like too long. 10, 15 minutes is more than enough. And um, it kind of builds your overall health too because you're feeling good physically and what's more important emotionally because I think that so often we kind of don't pay attention that most of our diseases they not only come from the physical problems they come from the mental problems so and the bath actually addresses it I think in my opinion you're just feeling good and this is the time when you don't do anything, right? You're just there and you're taking a bath. You could think, you could also do breathing exercises and then it would be just like the magic tool for you to be a very happy and healthy person. So I really hope you guys like this video. You will try to rejuvenate yourself with nice salt baths, maybe using some essential oils. If you have any questions, I would be happy you know, to answer them. I wish you guys all the best. I thank you so very much for all the support and attention. It helps me also to make the videos and just be happy when I read your comments. It's so great. I want us to be united in one goal. Like we all want to be happy. We don't want to have all those, you know, things around us to build up and just make us miserable people because we live in very stressful time. We all have problems and all kinds of things, but we must survive. We must be happy and the happiness and health start with us. So thanks again, guys, for the thumbs up if you like this video. Let me know about your favorite soul bath you guys uh, are taking, and I will see you in my next video.